Okay, so this is my video about Canada. I'm also from Canada, like Chase, and uh, I agree that it's completely awesome, except for when it's freezing. Um, see, I live in Toronto, which is in Ontario, and I came from Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is much, much colder. So about 19 years of my life, I spent cold, very cold, a lot of the time, except for the summers, which were unusually warm. But now Toronto is, like, freaking refreshing because it's... The middle of December, and I don't even have to wear my parka, which is flippin' amazing. I'm still kind of a pansy, though, when it comes to the cold, because I still like to wear two pairs of pants in the cold. So I'll so, wear, like, sweatpants, and I'll also wear jeans on top, and I look kind of like an idiot, but it's okay, because I'm warm. And I think that's what it comes down to in Canada. All of us are kind of trying to decide between looking like an idiot and being warm, or not looking like an idiot and being freezing cold, and the people who choose the latter option often die. So, yeah. Actually, it's not a, it's not really a harsh wasteland here. It's, it's pretty much like America, except for, except for better, because we got the gays, and we got, and we got, like, legal prostitution, and we got, like, uh, free health care. So, I'm actually scared of going to America. I've been a couple times, and every time I go, I get a little bit nervous, because I'm really worried I'm going to, like, fall down and break my leg, because I'm kind of a clumsy person, and then I'm going to have to go to the hospital, and then I'm going to owe, like, a billion dollars. And, yeah, that's not going to go very well. Face is bleeding again? You know, my partner is a perfect representation of people who need the free health care, because <laughs> almost daily, he gets hurt. Um, he's got two bumps on his head, right here, from the two times he's gotten concussions. He popped his knee out of place, he had bronchitis, he had second degree sunburns on his shoulders, he broke tons of bones, oil, um, like burning oil all over his shoulders. Bill just gave me scars all over my arms. Uh, okay. He's been hurt a lot, and it sucks, and so he's in the hospital all the time, and I'll just get like a text and be like, I went to the hospital today, and see, America, you can't do that, can you? No. If you were my boyfriend, you'd be dead. If you lived in America. So come here and live in Toronto and be my friend. Also, the one other thing about Canada, we may be the second largest country, but we've got like zero people. Ever. About 3.3 people per square kilometer. And where I'm from, it's 1.9 people per square kilometer. That's in Manitoba. So Here it's a lot more. Yeah, in Toronto there's more, but that's because we're like the most populated city, because we're a bunch of like five cities all pushed together, because everyone's huddling for warmth. Oh, and I think you can fit like 14 Frances inside of one Canada. How cool is that? And if anybody wants to learn more interesting things about Canada, go look up the Arrogant Worms. They're like my favorite band, and they're educational as well.